So I've been having some chocolate cravings lately, so today we're making chocolate cake with chocolate frosting. Now, I'm not using any white sugar in this, so we're using something different, and I'm gonna keep you in suspense for just a minute. And we're not using any white flour. We're gonna actually use almond flour. This cake is delicious, it's gluten-free, and it's chocolatey and moist. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. I like to start off with a chef joke. There'll be another one a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned, but here we go. All right, so why did the boy eat his homework? Because his teacher said it was a piece of cake. <laughs> so we're gonna jump into our sweetener. What I'm using is date paste to sweeten our cake. It has lots of vitamins and minerals, so it's really a great way to sweeten things up, get some fiber into your diet, along with some vitamins, and we're good to go. So what we do here is we take our dates. Now, I bought these at Costco. They're pitted, and we're gonna place them into a pot, and we're gonna cover them with some water. Then we're gonna place it on the stove and bring it to a boil. Simmer it for about 15, maybe 20 minutes, and then we'll let it cool. Then I'll drain the water out, but I'm gonna save the water, okay? Drain it out, and then we're gonna place our dates into a blender. Then we'll add back just enough of the water so that it will make a nice smooth paste. We wanna keep this nice and thick. So while our dates are cooling off over there, we are going to combine our dry ingredients in this bowl. So in here I have my almond flour. And by the way, you can get all the written ingredients in the description of this video. So look down below the video and click where it says show more. All right, so to that we're gonna add some cocoa powder. Now, what I'm using here is Goutard's co Cocoa Powder. I really like this brand. It's a real quality product. Next, we're gonna add some baking powder and baking soda, just a little bit of salt. And our next ingredient is instant coffee, which is going to just enhance the chocolate flavor. You will not taste this, so it's just a little bit. And then take your whisk and just combine everything. Now, the, the almond flour that I'm using also is very fine. So you wanna use a nice fine mixture. I got mine at Trader Joe's and it works really well in this recipe. So you wanna work on breaking up those clumps. So we'll also have to get our dish ready. And I'm using an eight by eight baking dish here and it's, you know, probably a couple inches deep. You wanna get some parchment paper. I cut off myself a nice big piece here and we're gonna to have to trim it up. So I just kind of smash it into the plate to kind of get an idea. And I want to cut, I'm going to cut the corners here a little bit. So I just make a cut in. And this will help the paper stay a little better. And I've also got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Okay, so then we'll cut this corner in. Okay, so once you get that in there, you can kind of trim off this excess here. Obviously, the parchment paper is going to help us get our cake out of the dish without it sticking. All right, to our dry mixture now, we're gonna add four eggs. I'm using pasture-raised eggs. And to that, we're gonna add some vanilla extract. And here's our date paste. Now I let it cool. I do have it cooled off a bit, but you can see, look at how nice and thick that is. That's what you want. And it is nice and smooth and creamy. It's gonna blend in really well. It has a nice caramel flavor to it, so it really lends itself to the flavor. Now we'll just mix this up. And don't forget to scrape down the sides of the bowl. And now we'll just pour this right into our prepared pan and hopefully that parchment paper will stay where it's supposed to be. Make sure you, make sure you spread out the batter and then we're gonna pop this in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven preheated for, we're gonna check this, I want you to check it at 25 minutes. Mine took 30 last time, but ovens can vary. So we're gonna check it, like I said, at 25 minutes. All right, our cake's in the oven, so it must be that time. Time for chef joke number two. Are you ready? All right, here we go. When is a birthday cake like a golf ball? When it's sliced. 
So we'll cook this in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven, and check it with a toothpick, and then it's done when it comes out almost clean. Now we're ready to make our frosting, our chocolate frosting. So in my bowl here, I have some clover organic cream cheese. It is some of the best cream cheese I've ever had. Anyway, I've got some organic butter and we're gonna cream that together and add some monk fruit sweetener to that. Add a little bit at a time and keep mixing it in. Then we'll add some date paste to that, blend that in along with some more uh, cocoa powder from Guitard. Go ahead and blend that in. We'll add a splash of vanilla once that's mixed in and a little touch of some more instant coffee. And then we're gonna add some more chocolate. I'm gonna be adding what I have here, some chopped up Scharfenberger chocolate that's bittersweet with a little bit of coconut oil. And we're gonna pop that in the microwave at 20 second increments. And we're gonna stir it between each you know, time we cook it. And uh, you just want it to get nice and melted. Then we'll add that to our frosting, mix it up, and it's ready to go. Adding the coconut oil will help keep your frosting firm as it does not melt until about 78 degrees. So if it's less than 78, then it'll stay nice and firm. So you wanna make sure that your cake is completely cooled before you try what I'm about to do. However, my cake is not completely cooled. So we'll see what happens. We're gonna use the parchment paper to lift out the cake. And now I'm gonna remove the parchment paper. Just makes for a little bit nicer presentation. So I'm just lifting it up, kind of easing it, easing the paper off of the cake. Now what you can do too, and I didn't do, and I probably should have, is put a little bit of uh, spray, like I have avocado spray, on the paper as well, and that will help keep it from sticking. Okay. I think I've got it, I got my hand underneath it. I'm just gonna place it back in the dish just because it helps to keep its shape. And now I'll just frost it in the dish. All right, let's get some of that wonderful frosting on there. Check that out, nice and creamy. And like I said, we can stick this, I'm probably gonna put this in the refrigerator for a few minutes because the cake is still warm and my frosting's gonna get runny, so. But you can see this is plenty of frosting. If you wanna make cupcakes, you can. You would just test them, you know, with a toothpick. That's how you know when it's done. It comes out pretty clean, doesn't have to be perfect, but very close to it. That cake is really delicious. I can't even tell that it's made with almond flour and not regular white flour. I mean, it's really good, it's moist, it's chocolatey. I think it's everything you want in a cake. If you like chocolate as much as I do, then you might wanna check out another chocolate recipe of mine. I've got one for you, it's chocolate pudding. Very simple to make, very delicious, and way better than what you can buy at the store. So here's a link for you, click that, go check that out, make some tonight, and I think you'll love it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You know, hit that like button for me and leave me a comment. And if you really wanna show me some love, share the video. Thanks again, we'll see you next time.